Welcome students, we are given this question square root of 11 raised to the power 4 positive 100 raised to the power 4 positive 111 raised to the power 4 divided by 2 we are expected to calculate the value now there are many ways to solve this one popular way would be Pascal's triangle but we don't need to use Pascal's triangle we can also use algebra to solve this. So let us try the algebraic way to solve this question. So foremost what I wish to do is I would like to consider the numerator. Write the numerator down. That's going to be 11 raised to the power 4 positive 100 raised to the power 4 positive 111 raised to the power 4. Now, if I were to take the value of a to be as 11, then I can clearly also take the value of b to be as, say, 100. Then I can write 111 as 11 positive 100. So that would mean I'm writing 111 as A positive B. So this would mean I can rewrite this entire component as A raised to the power 4 positive B raised to the power 4 positive of A positive B raised to the power 4. Now, I've got a uh, quantity a positive b raised to the power 4. I can rewrite that as a positive b raised to the power of 2. The entire component is raised to the power of 2. Why? Because from the law of indices, I can rewrite a raised to the power of m times n as a raised to the power m, the whole raised to the power n. This is always possible. That's exactly what I'm doing there. Now, this is equal to, if I were to expand this, I would get a squared positive b squared positive 2ab raised to the power 2. Now, I would like to use a formula from algebra, which is a positive b positive c raised to the power 2 is a squared positive b squared positive c squared positive 2 times of a b positive b c positive a c. So if I were to use this formula over here this would be equal to a raised to the power 4 positive b raised to the power 4 positive a squared raised to the power 2 positive b squared raised to the power 2 positive 2ab raised to the power 2, positive 2 times of a squared times b squared is a squared b squared. b squared times 2ab would be 2ab cubed and 2ab times a squared would be 2a cubed b. So this is equal to a raised to the power 4, positive b raised to the power 4, positive a raised to the power 4, positive b raised to the power 4, positive 4 times a squared, b squared. Now there is also uh, a squared, b squared here. So let me multiply those things. So 2 times of a squared, b squared, positive 2 times 2ab cubed is going to be 4ab cubed, positive 4a cubed b. Of course, on the left-hand side, we've got 11 raised to the power 4, positive 100 raised to the power 4, positive 1, 1, 1 raised to the power 4. Now, I can add these two together. I can add these two together. So that is going to give me 2a to the power 4, positive 2 times b raised to the power 4, positive. I can add these two together. 6a squared b squared positive 4 times a b cubed positive 4a cubed b. Now 
I would be dividing both sides by 2. So this would mean I got 11 raised to the power 4, positive 100 raised to the power 4, positive 111 raised to the power 4 divided by 2. And this entire thing divided by 2. So this can be rewritten as a raised to the power 4, positive b raised to the power 4, positive 3 times a squared b squared, positive 2 times a times b cubed, positive 2 times a cubed b. Of course on the left side I've got this term. So now what I wish to do is I would I would like to rewrite this in the following fashion. So I would like to group some terms and then I would like to use the algebraic identity. Now this is equal to now this entire term along with these two terms can be represented as a squared positive b squared positive ab raised to the power 2. Now you might be asking how is it possible? Okay let me show that to you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a to the power 4 positive b to the power 4 as a squared positive b squared raised to the power 2. Right? Now if I were to expand this I get a, a power 4 positive b power 4 positive 2 times a squared times b squared. So I got a 2 times a squared b squared. So all I need to do to get this term a squared b squared I need to add uh, a squared b squared. Right? Fine. Now what I'm going to do is from a b cubed and a cubed b I would like to take 2 out a out and a b out. If I were to do that I would get a b squared here and a a squared here. Now let me rewrite this in this following fashion. So this is equal to a squared positive b squared raised to the power 2 and followed by 2 times a b times a squared positive b squared positive a b raised to the power 2. Now clearly you can see that this is a term this is a term. If I were to add these two terms and square them, I would get the entire term. So in other words, what I'm trying to tell you here is this is of the form a positive b raised to the power 2. That is the simplest thing that I wish to convey here. So this entire thing can be rewritten as a squared positive b squared. This is one term. Positive a, B, this is another term and this is raised to the power 2, right? So this entire thing is what is this? So th to show that I have given you the following explanation. Now let us substitute back the values of uh, A, B and find out the values of A squared and B squared. But before we could do that, it would be much better for us to take note of the left hand side. On the left side we got 11 power 4 positive 100 to the power 4 positive 111 to the power 4 divided by 2. This is on the left side. Now on the right side we got this term. But the question wants us, let us have a look at the question. The question wants us to calculate this value root of 11 to the power 4 positive 100 to the power 4 positive 100 and 11 to the power 4 divided by 2. So what are we trying to do here? We expect it to find out this. So that would mean we will have to find out this. And that would mean the radical sign of the square gets cancelled, leaving us with a squared positive b squared positive ab. Right? Now we have taken the value of a to b as 11 and b to b as 100. So if I were to substitute this, this will be 11 squared positive 100 squared positive 11 times 100. Now let me add these things up. Now 100 squared, that's going to be 1 followed by 4 zeros. 
and this is going to be 11 times 100 so it's going to be a 0 and a 0 and 11 11 squared is 121 and if I were to add this I get 1 2 2 1 1 so this is equal to 1 1 2 2 1 so this is the solution for this question okay I have already promised you that I'm going to show you another way the next way is now there is an algebraic identity which connects a power 4 positive b power 4 positive a positive b raised to the power 4 to be equal to 2 times of a squared positive a b positive b squared raised to the power of 2 now making use of this identity we would be able to rewrite 11 to the power 4 positive 100 to the power of 4 positive 11 positive 100 to the power of 4 to be equal to 2 times of 11 squared positive 11 times of 100 positive b squared is 100 squared raised to the power 2 now we are expected to divide this by 2 so we divide this by 2 the 2 and 2 gets cancelled we are expected to find out the square root of this we expected to find out the square root of this the radical sign and the square gets cancelled giving me 11 squared positive 11 times 100 will be 1100 positive 100 squared will be 1 followed by 4 zeros so you add everything that would give me 1 1 2 2 1 so that is also another way only thing is that you should be in a position to remember this identity you can expand this and left hand side will be equal to right hand side the third way is the straightforward way by using Pascal's uh, triangle and I hope you all know Pascal's triangle and you can employ Pascal's triangle in obtaining the values that are present here of course so you need to be a little bit aware of the Pascal's triangle's topography and its configuration thank you students